What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Friday, August 25th. Yes, in today's video we're going to be talking about D gods and also we're going to be talking about the Utes NFT collection. Also, we're going to be talking about the dust token. What has happened with the dust token? I cannot wait to share with you some recent activity with that token. And also at the very end of the video, I want to share with you something that's pretty fun, which is my experience at the in real life event that happened yesterday for the D gods Q and A. Kevin D gods was there, Frank D gods was there, and, and many holders were also at that event as well. Cannot wait to share with you my experience. Let's get right into it. Let's not waste any time. Be sure to like the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. Right now, OpenSea, you can see that D gods right now is around 4.4 Ethereum. That's the current floor price on this marketplace. Right now, these NFTs are mainly season three artworks, and I definitely think that they are absolutely fire in my opinion, just because a lot of the artwork is popping in terms of color contrast. And I think they used a lot of the traits and skill levels that they did with Utes over to the D Gods collection. And as you can see, just on OpenSea, the lowest price for an affordable entry is around 4.4, which is roughly around $7,394. But let's go ahead and go over to Blur, which is the most traded platform. Right now, the lowest floor price, around 4.15 Ethereum. Let's look at the overall sales in that time frame. You can see that right now, we're seeing many sales that sometimes are well above the floor price. We saw one just 51 minutes ago sell for even double the floor price. And also, if you've seen in this chart, we're actually in a new uptrend. You can see that new uptrend, which is an ascending trend for the collection. Now, if we go over to NFT Go, you can see that there are two NFTs that sold for a new all-time high price, meaning is well above its floor price level. So this D guide number 2742 sold for around 15 Ethereum. And that is because it has this amazing trait suit on itself. And then I did mention that one D guide that sold for well above eight Ethereum, but this one sold for around 8.19. Now let's go ahead and look into some other things such as this from Crypto Dan. He says the art's being worked on. Points parlor killing it. Three days can make a big difference. We went from 600 listed NFTs to now around 300 listed NFTs. We've even seen the floor price go from 3.33 to 420. Now, the reason that's important is because that was the support level. We saw that that was the lowest peak of that collection. And I kid you not, that's exactly what happened. And now we hovered around 4.2 Ethereum at the time of this post. So this price could fluctuate up and down, but regardless, now we're seeing new support levels around four Ethereum. Now, the point of this little post right here is around the points parlor, because this is something I wanna to mention to everybody. And I think this is why people are accumulating these NFTs. Now at the points parlor, you connect your NFT and based on how many points you have, hopefully you have over 300 or even 200,000. But right now people have been using the 333 rule, which is when if there are three cards, people tend to use three draws of each card. And what's great about this is that in some way, you get to use those points as I would say passive income. What do I mean by that? Other than having chances to win like prizes such as Uber gift cards or Teslas, you can also win some dust tokens. And you know, this is what a raffle is. You can sometimes lose and not get enough dust tokens, or you can actually score some dust tokens. Or for a fact, you can actually win an Uber gift card like this person did here. So the point of this little video is that basically you are just staking your NFT and you might as well make some money out of that. So why is the dust token super important? Well, I definitely think that right now, if we look at the dust token, it's jumped up 18% over the past day. Why is that? Because I think people are realizing that, you know, I might as well hold these NFTs and stake them and then be a part of these raffles. And if this dust token ends up accumulating in price over time, then you might as well hold those dust tokens. You might as well keep your D God staked. Why sell it? Because in some way, over time, if there's more liquidity that flows into the dust pool or to the dust ecosystem, then it ends up paying off for the holders. So the thing is the team, the D labs team doesn't really get anything out of this. You're not spending money to participate in this other than buying the NFT, which they do get creator royalties from, which is dependent on which marketplace you're buying those NFTs from. Some marketplaces don't allow creator royalties. So they're really doing this kind of for free in some shape or form. So the points parlor is definitely one of the things that I'm keeping an eye out for and definitely the things that keep me engaged and staying in this community. And you gotta keep in mind, while the dust token is roughly 18%, you gotta look at how it's performing with the overall crypto market. Cause right now the dust token is outperforming Bitcoin, Ethereum and major altcoins. So to me, that's really bullish. 
let's just not stop there. Let's talk about the Utes collection. Right now, Utes is hovering around 0.93 Ethereum. Remember when this collection used to be around 0.73 or 0.75 Ethereum? Well, people started accumulating those NFTs. People are speculating since D Gods used their D points to be a part of the raffles within Points Parlor, perhaps. Ute points are going to be used for the exact same thing, only for Ute holders. And so people are now accumulating these NFTs to finding out which NFTs have the most points. And if you want to, you can go on OpenSea and just find it, since this is probably one of the easier marketplaces to see that. So like, say for instance, the cheapest one, which is around $1,500, aka 0.93 Ethereum, this one has 356 points. So keep that in mind, you can use those points to earn yourself dust tokens over time. Now, if we look at the overall chart, you can see that now we're going to a new uptrend, another ascending trend, just like the D gods collection some major purchase orders well above the floor price some at being around 1.15 ethereum such as this amazing gold trait with the gold black glasses and the headband trait or the money band that's really cool in my opinion so again people are not sleeping on this collection and i think i want to share another clip that was from jay toys now jay toys is a person who grabs a lot of different snippets or voice snippets over on Twitter spaces. He creates a clip out of them. Be sure to subscribe to him and join his Twitter page if you haven't. But this video talks about how Frank feels around the Utes community, what's gonna happen for Utes, and also about D-Labs. I'm gonna let that video play right now. If we dip back down, and if whatever happens, like to me, the momentum's not gonna slow down. And I think the new holders that we're getting in now are, are gonna retain. Uh, and that's the, that's the cool part about it. Cause I don't think most people that are buying D gods today are buying it because they're like, oh, it's going to be a D shape recovery. We're going to moon tomorrow, which honestly is the best mindset for someone joining because it means you're getting just real new members. Like you're getting real new holders in. And that's been the most exciting part of this last week. And I just think the new uh, the uptick of people that are going to leave the youth community as soon as youths get to eat and the people that are going to join. Um, if we actually can can get our shit together and have stuff ready to go for that moment, um, you know, I just think this is going to be a significant momentum across the board for the whole D-Labs ecosystem. Because if Utes are becoming more and more important within the ecosystem, I mean, a lot of D-Gods have Utes. If that project starts to do better and like that community starts to become what it really has always had the potential to become, I think that we're looking at a very different outlook on the D-Labs ecosystem. And so look, I wish season three went better. I wish we were nailed a rollout. I wish we thought of a lot of things that seemed obvious to the community that we obviously missed. Um, can't change the past excited for uh you know fixing that and and uh keeping this fucking momentum going because at the end of the day still in the conversation bro it's been two years still in the conversation um and and uh you know that's all we really need and if people that have been here for a while all i really need is like people not to ignore us and then if people aren't ignoring us then we're going to keep people engaged and if we keep people engaged then it has a really beautiful virtuous cycle for growth and so new type of dip new type of reset that we haven't experienced in a while maybe since honestly ftx but i think you know we had the most people join after ftx in this community and uh um after that it was just a pretty sick run so you know like back to square one that's how that's that's the mentality inside the company Okay, now you have a little bit more insight around Utes and how bullish I am personally around that, and also to hear what D-Labs is trying to do for the economy. But let's talk about something that just happened yesterday, right? We had an in real life event that happened where D-Gods showed up. We had Frank and Kevin literally show up at Q&A answering any people's questions, meeting people, meeting their holders. And I will tell you that the atmosphere was fantastic. I will tell you that when they were up on stage and just like being completely transparent, it was kind of surreal to actually meet them in person because they are super nice and super kind but also you can kind of tell based on their persona that they've been here before we've been in bear markets we've seen FUD literally come left and right and they are literally unmoved in fact they've been I feel like trained to be in this particular situation maybe because in Solana it was kind of brutal like that so being on Ethereum it's much easier for them to really cope listen to people's you know feedback take that in only to improve everything in the D Labs economy including Utes the dust token and for D gods and another thing I want to point out is Kevin D. Gods. Speaking to Kevin is actually quite refreshing because he completely gets what it's like to be the holder. He completely gets, you know, what everybody feels and the uncertainty that we all feel as holders. So to hear his confidence, to hear his perspective is quite invigorating and refreshing to remember where we actually came from, that we've been here before and this next bull market that does come by, regardless of what it is, we have to be grateful for where we are and be humble because there are many other NFT collections out there that are in the dumps that have seen 
seen a bear market that are low in floor prices. So really, we just got to be there for each other growing as an NFT economy, no matter which PFP you represent. And another thing I want to share with you is the friends that we made. Overall, the event was amazing. It was a great atmosphere, very colorful, a lot of great personalities, really great people. We had people coming from Orange County, San Diego. We had people from Burbank and also people from Los Angeles that were traveling locally. But it was nice to meet everybody from different blockchains, from Ethereum bulls to Polygon bulls to Solana bulls. I mean, everybody was there and we had people sitting downstairs and upstairs. It was a completely packed house. And I will say, when you get to talk to Frank, when you get to know him a little bit more, you get to understand that he really cares about holders. He really cares about your experience. He really puts you guys first. And I think that's something you cannot replace. Yeah, you can spend a lot of time online making assumptions, making predictions about who these people are, but really when you get to meet them, instead of hiding behind a screen and showing your face and really just getting to get to know people personally, you really feel a sense of like authenticity and reality that this is really not going anywhere. This project is only at the beginning. And I do sense that right now, we're in the beginning of a next bull market and people are understanding that right now, the dust token you should not sleep on. You shouldn't sleep on the Utes collection either or D-Gods because honestly, these three collections are absolutely positioned really well to bring in full on adoption. So this was just a quick video over what I felt around D-Gods, dust, Utes, and also the in real life event. This is the very tippy top iceberg of what's to be expected. You can expect more coming from this team. And again, I think the next thing that's coming up is gonna be Utes. So now that you know a little bit more information about Utes and how those Ute points could be used for on the points parlor, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna watch for the sidelines or are you gonna buy in right now? I love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below and I cannot wait to read them. And as always, be sure to like the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our awful calls on both buy and sell orders and both NFTs and cryptocurrencies, especially within D-Gods, Utes, and the Dust token. Until then, see you guys girls next time.